Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar today. My name is Scott Buckley, I'm, and this is the Circle Surrogacy and Egg Donation webinar on how to afford, afford surrogacy during COVID-19. So first and foremost, my name is Scott Buckley. I'm the Vice President of Client Services and an attorney at Circle Surrogacy and Egg Donation. I'm also gonna be joined today by Angela Rastigar, who's the Director of West Coast and Asia Pacific um, at Circle Surrogacy as well. For a little bit of housekeeping, I'm sure many people have been listening in on a number of webinars in the last few weeks, but uh, you are all gonna be in listen-only mode for the, the entire presentation. Um, if you, even though you are on mute, you can type in questions. So if you can see, oh wait, I gotta make sure I share screen here. Excuse me, I wanna make sure I do that one. Um, so j just to go through this, so you're gonna be in listen only, you can add, ask any questions that you want. And I gotta share my screen here and I can't, I don't know why this is not sharing. Well, and anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna go through and answer any questions at the end. So if somebody can just tell me, can they see, somebody just texted me yes, so they can. Yes, you can change. see your slides. Okay, and somebody just texted us so that we're having issues. Okay, well, the agenda for today is pretty simple. So we're gonna start with a very quick overview of the cost of surrogacy. The goal of this presentation is not specifically to break down what goes into the cost of surrogacy. We do that in a consultation. We've had many other webinars on that. And if you have questions, by all means, reach out. We'd be happy to go over that. But we wanna keep this pretty tight today, about 15 to 20 minutes of content, and then as many questions as you want to ask. So we're gonna do a very high level overview of what the cost should be. Then we're gonna talk about the types of financing options that are available to intended parents. We're gonna go over what those options in, uh, entail. We're, we're gonna specifically focus on unsecured options today, specifically the Circle Surrogacy Financing Plan. That is a new plan that is available. I think most people have a, some level of understanding of home equity line of credits, and we'll talk briefly about it, but we wanna focus primarily on the unsecured options. And then we'll also talk a little bit about financial stability of companies, uh, specifically Circle Surrogacy, because it is a lar large amount of money, a big commitment, and so we wanna make sure that anybody that commits to Circle fully understands uh, the stability of our company. So starting here, we're gonna start with overall the cost of a surrogacy program. And so if you are comparing other agencies um, or you're looking at this, you really need to make sure you fully understand what you're gonna be committed to in a journey. So there's really four types of expenses that you pay professional fees, carrier, and if you need an egg donor, egg donor fees and expenses, medical and insurance costs, and IVF expenses. IVF expenses would be paid directly to the IVF clinic that you work with. So those are not included in the amounts that we're gonna be talking about here. The other three are all included with Circle's fees and expenses. So at different agencies, they might have some professionals in-house and some out-of-house. So you need to make sure you fully understand what you're paying for what's included and add the additional expenses that you might need in there. At Circle, all of our programs are fixed cost programs, meaning that we take on all of the variability, all of the risk. So when you go through professional fees, everything for social work screening, you know, legal work, accounting, medical billing, any rematches that are needed are, is all included. For carriers and donors, it's not just their base fees. We are including everything that would be paid for travel, bed rest, any sort of local monitoring or contingencies, and for medical and insurance, the same thing. Whether she has an, or the surrogate has her own insurance or we have to buy a Lloyd's of London plan for her, whether insurance gets denied, whether she, the surrogate loses insurance in the middle of the journey, it is all covered at a fixed cost. So what is that number? Well, if you are in the, if you only need a surrogate, your base level program is going to be 100 and, about $125,000 for one transfer if you would like unlimited transfers and money back at the end if it doesn't work, that's the guarantee program, which would be 135,000. For surrogacy with an egg donor, it's $24,000 more, which means it would be 149,500 or 159,500. So those are the numbers that people are really trying to get to. The nice thing with a guarantee program is you know exactly what you're aiming towards. 
So I think with a variable cost program, the upside is if everything goes well, maybe it's a little less expensive. But for people that are struggling to afford this cost, it is very difficult to go in hoping for the best and then having to figure out how to afford another transfer, another retrieval, a miscarriage, um, an insurance denial, or some other issue that might come up. So I really think that if you're if you're thinking about financing a portion of your journey, I think it's critical to have a very fixed cost that you're working towards. Now, what are the options that are available for financing? So most people probably understand that there's a secured loan and an unsecured loan. A secured loan means that you've put collateral up. So the primary things that people would hear about are going to be a home equity line of credit or a refinance of their house. Interest rates are extremely low right now. If you have equity in your house, by all means, you should look into that as a very good first option. We're not gonna go deep into this today. I just wanna make sure you understand that home equity line of credit is a, a dollar amount that you would take out that you would have available to you so that you, if you got a $100,000 loan, you can put it in and take it out as you need. Uh, refinance would be that you would just change your payments every month and it would, you know, you'd have your same mortgage, but maybe it's extended a couple more years again. Maybe you know you add on a little bit more, but you take actual cash out from your house. You will have to keep a certain amount of money in your in for equity. So even if you have a little bit of equity in your house, you're going to have to have probably at least 20 to 25 percent in there. And so you can only take out a little bit of you know a little bit additional if you are close to that dollar amount. For unsecured loans, Angel's gonna go through this in much more detail. And then the last thing is just to remember that there are other ways that you can potentially get money. There are employer benefits. Kara and Progeny are two companies that offer these benefits. Again, another webinar will, will address employer benefits, but you should look through your employee handbooks and see if there's anything. If you're going through infertility service treatment, if you're going through surrogacy specifically or egg donation, your employer might have a benefit outside of your health insurance that you can use. For heterosexual couples who have a medical need for surrogacy, there might be an ability to take a medical expense deduction on your taxes. These are both things that we would talk about in much more detail in a consultation. We'll talk at the end about scheduling consultations, but those are free times. You can sit down, you can talk to us. And even if you're not ready for a full consultation and you just wanna meet with me or somebody else at Circle, we are always willing to, you know, to talk on the phone, talk on a Skype call, a Zoom call, and go through any questions that you may have. And there are some organizations like Resolve that might have small grants that are available if you are struggling to start your family. Now I'm gonna turn this over to Angela and let her talk through the unsecured financing options. Angela? Yes, thank you, Scott. Hi, everyone, this is Angela Rastigar. Um, I just want to make sure that everyone can hear me, so feel free to ping us on the questions if you're having any issues. Um, so I'll, I'll spend a few minutes talking about unsecured loans and then specifically about an option that we have exclusive for Circle parents. So as Scott mentioned, an unsecured loan means that you don't have to put any collateral down against the loan. These tend to have slightly higher interest rates and lower borrowing limits than a collateralized loan like a home equity line of credit, but they can be a great option either in combination with another type of loan or as a standalone um, for a couple of reasons. So we see IPs specifically using these types of loans in three main use cases. One is they may need to spread out their payments for the cost of a surrogacy journey. So they want to just keep optionality, especially with the current economic climate, um, and use this as a way to keep a little extra cash on hand. Second, we see intended parents using these types of loans like a bridge loan. Um, the specific financing plan that we offer at Circle, which I'll talk about in a moment, has no penalty to early prepayment. So you could take out a loan to start your journey, and if you receive a bonus at the end of the year or some sort of equity payout, you could then pay off the loan and just give yourself a little more room to pay for the cost of signing on. And then lastly, people who truly um, do need this loan to pay for the journey over time. 
So on the next slide, um, we'll talk a little bit about the financing plan that we offer exclusively to Circle parents. Oh, one slide back, please. Um, at, at Circle, we've set up an uncollateralized loan, which is the first ever financing plan for surrogacy and egg donation for our intended parents. It's offered through our partner organization, Origin Finance, and it was set up because we saw the need um, to really give our intended parents security and certainty around financial planning for this journey. And so for parents who qualify, you can borrow $65,000 of the cost of either just a GS surrogacy only journey or a surrogacy plus egg donation journey. And you can pay that back over either three or six years, depending on which loan you qualify for. Um, this is priced at 6.25% for a 36 month loan and 7.75% for the 72 month loan in terms of the APR that we offer. And it's really designed to make this very seamless for intend our intended parents. Um, if you qualify, your funds would be automatically added to your own escrow account. So it's a very quick application process and there's no cost to apply. So we at Circle are really proud of this plan because as far as we understand, it's actually the largest uncollateralized loan outside of student lending. And we're hopeful that offering this will make financial planning for surrogacy accessible to a lot more people who want to be parents. Next slide, please. So just to share a little bit about the qualifications, obviously you're welcome to apply if you'd like to learn more. This is offered to our intended parents who choose the Journey Protection Guarantee Program, um, either for surrogacy only or surrogacy plus egg donation. You need to be a US citizen residing in one of these states listed on the right. So this is still in the pilot phase. We're rolling out additional states, but you need to have residency at the start of your journey in one of these states. And you can also have a co-signer that's optional who can um, reside anywhere in the US. And you um, need to have a, a criteria such as a high credit score, exceptional credit. So again, you're welcome to reach out to us at info at origin-finance.com. Um, and in terms of how this actually looks, so as Scott mentioned, this, the total cost of the journey is over here on the left column. If you qualify for the financing plan, your sign-on cost is listed here. So just looking at the top row for surrogacy and egg donation, you'd pay 66,000 at sign-on, then 14,000 when you're matched with your egg donor, and then instead of the entire remainder being due, you'd only pay 14,500 when you're matched with your carrier, and the remainder of your balance would be paid out over either 36 months or 72 months. And that comes to roughly 1900 a month for the three-year plan or 1100 a month for the 72-month plan. Similarly, you can see the prices for surrogacy only. So again, this was really designed to make surrogacy um, a lot more affordable for people who might not have the full amount of cash readily available to sign on and want to spread that cost over time. Um, in terms of who, a typical profile of what we see um, for intended parents who use this loan, this is an example, names have been changed and details changed slightly, but just to give you an example, Andrew and Joanna came to us um, they had been trying for nine years to have a child, and after really struggling and losing a baby, unfortunately at 27 weeks, they wanted, decided to pursue surrogacy, um, but they didn't have the full amount of the journey for the journey available. So they combined their own savings, some input from both of their parents, and then the circle financing plan in order to support themselves throughout this entire journey and still have a large financial cushion available should anything else come up during the course of this journey with the support of Circle's financing plan. So again, we're really delighted to offer this. Happy to answer any questions about it. As another option, there are other unsecured lenders like Prosper Healthcare. So if you don't, if you're not eligible for the Circle surrogacy financing plan, we do offer other options. Prosper is an independent organization that will um, provide up to $100,000 um, and, and 
sorry, up to $35,000. Um, and there's an array of options that can allow you to kind of pull together the total cost of this journey. From Prosper specifically, the loans are available to U.S. residents. Um, they're up to 84 month terms in amounts from two to a hundred thousand dollars. And they have two tiers of programs for borrowers with standard credit and exceptional credit. So again, no collateral required, no prepayment penalties. When you do a full consultation with us, we really try to talk you through the array of options that might be available to you for you to consider. So this is just another option. Lastly, um, we do want to touch on our own financial stability. So I know this webinar is focused on your financial planning, but obviously in times of um, e economic uncertainty, choosing an agency that has economic stability is a very real concern. And this is a journey that typically takes about a year and a half, two years. So really making sure that the agency you work with is going to be there for you um, and be financially stable during that time is a real concern. We've actually, over our 25 years of experience, seen that in troubling times, intended parents tend to place an emphasis on working with established, experienced, professional agencies. And Circle has really been there through multiple ups and downs, multiple recessions. Um, we are very confident that we'll be very comfortable and secure throughout the COVID-19 outbreak like we have in other times of uncertainty. And that's because we are um, a large agency. We're actually the largest in the U.S. in terms of our team size, and we're financially stable. We're backed by a diverse group of investors that are really committed to our mission and to our long-term success. So over our 25 years of experience, just to give you the peace of mind, we wanted to share that we have actually grown every year, even in years plagued by war, recession, um, and political issues. And to date during this year, we're one of the only agencies to have not laid off or furloughed any of our team. So we're very confident that we'll be here to help you in your financial planning. And with that, I'll let Scott um, say any final comments before we open to questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Angela. And as promised, we we're going to try to keep this pretty tight. So hopefully we uh, hit most of the points, uh, even if very broadly. I do want to encourage people, if you have questions about financing, about the program, about cost in general, please type them in now. We wanted to make sure that we hit mainly on the unsecured financing options first. But really, if there's any questions that you have, please write in your uh, questions in the question uh, side over on the right hand, the right hand side, and we'll go through them. The only thing that I would just add to what Angela went through was with the sign-on amount, we are being flexible with people right now. We understand that there's a lot of concern out there with COVID-19, that people aren't sure about what their, their jobs are going to be. So we are being very flexible with the of parents that want to move forward now because we don't want to delay your journey. There is a waiting time to get matched with a surrogate. It's usually about three to five months if you're having a single child. But if the down payment is what is, is making you hesitate, please don't worry about that. Talk to us. We can split up that payment. You will have to have all the money in your trust account before a surrogate is going to get pregnant. Okay, so that is, that is one thing that will be, you know, kind of like the guideline that you have to go through. By the time you're matched with your surrogate before she does a transfer, you have to have all the funds. But if your concern is just the commitment up front, we can absolutely split that up. We can talk about refundability, other concerns that people um, might have because of what's going on with the coronavirus. So that's the real basics here. I don't see any questions yet. I'm going to give people another minute or two. Um, I'm also going to talk very quickly about um, the consultation. So if you are interested in talking more, we have uh, consultations available. Um, they are free to talk with us. We can go in as much detail as you need. The, you know, we used to say Monday through Friday, but right now when we're all working from home, honestly, just about every weekend we're doing consultations, we're doing evening consultations. All you need to do is reach out to us and we would be happy to schedule one. Lauren Enterkin is the woman who's in charge of scheduling most of the consultations. Her email is here, her phone number's here. This presentation will be emailed to you as well. So if you don't get this um, you know, right now, you can look through it. But L Enterkin, L-E-N-T-E-R-K-I-N at circlesurrogacy.com. Okay, we have some questions coming, which is great. 
So the first one is the amount reflected in one of the previous slides is based on a single baby. So yes, the, the amounts that we were showing you was talking about if you're having a single child, if you want to try for twins, twins will be $25,000 more if you get pregnant with twins. The reason for the additional amount is the surrogate will get a higher base fee and all of the contingencies are gonna be much more expensive with a twin pregnancy. Things like a C-section will be a lot more expensive. Things like bed rest are much more common. The legal work, now there's two different children, two different um, legal, uh, legal proceedings that are happening. So everything will be more expensive, but it's still a fixed flat fee. The insurance, the co-payments and deductibles are gonna be a lot more, but, but it will still be covered under the, uh, the fixed program, but it's just $25,000 more if you wanna try for twins. Um, the next question was, when you say all the money in the trust, does that mean down payment or full amount? So with Circle, we typically have the payments divided into two or three payments. The first one would be before you, when you join Circle, before you get matched with a surrogate or an egg donor. The second payment is when you get matched with the egg donor before the egg retrieval. The third payment is at the time that you get matched with your surrogate before she begins medications for the transfer. So you do need to have all of that money. So the 149,000 or the 100 and, you know, 25,000, whatever program you're in, you will have to have the full amount before you do the transfer to the surrogate. So what Angela was talking about was a way in which you don't have to have all of that cash. You could take out a $65,000 loan out of that last payment. So if you were in, if you only needed a surrogate, you're in the guarantee program, unlimited transfers, 135,000. What that means is you would need to have $70,000 by the time you're matched with your surrogate, and then you would begin a monthly payment for either three or six years. So it would be $70,000 in cash with a $65,000 loan. A uh, question of what's the age limits for the intended parents? I believe the age limits are, and, and some of this also varies by the IVF clinic that you're working with. I believe our age limits are 110 combined age if you're a couple. So that's 55, basically 55 each. And I think for a single person, it's 55 as well. Not 100% certain about that. If you reach out to us, we can uh, answer that in more detail, but I believe it's 110 for a couple, 55 for a single person. Yes, and there are some additional limits on using your own biology with regards to the eggs that are utilized. So just reach out to us for a consultation as well with any more detailed questions. So uh, the next question is, I've read about IVF grants. Are there any grants from any foundations or nonprofits for parents considering surrogacy? So yes, I mean, I, Angela, do you know of any in specific that you wanna talk about? You go ahead. Okay, so so we put up there the, the, that Resolve has some grants. Um, for for same-sex couples, there's a group called Men Having Babies that has some uh, grants as well. Um, there are not a lot out there. What we're, what we're starting to see more and more is that employers or health insurance may have some coverage, but for grants, there's not a lot out there. What you do see is sometimes some donated services. If you become aware of anything, you know, Circa would be happy to partner with with whomever we work with any any groups out there that are looking for it but the key thing is making sure you go through an organization we'd be happy to support every organization that gives grants we just want to make sure that you know we want to make sure that people are vetted and qualified for receiving those grants uh, but i don't know a lot of them i know resolve has some i know there are some smaller ones if you search online i don't i don't remember the name off the top of my head and i know the men have the babies group has uh, an organization that helps with that as well so the next question is, is the selection of egg donor, is the selection of egg donor in, in included? So in the egg donor program, so, so for the egg donor program, it would be the $149,500 program, or with the unlimited guarantee, the $159,500. That includes selecting a donor, who, assuming her base fee is $9,000. If her fee is a little bit more, it could be a little bit more expensive. But uh, same thing with the surrogate. That's the one thing that's gonna vary is the base fee of the surrogate and the egg donor. Everything else in our program is going to be a fixed cost, all the things that you can't control, but you can control 
who you match with for a surrogate and who you who you choose for an egg donor. But the 149 or the 159 program includes the egg donor as well. I think the questions are wrapping up here. Um, if anybody has a question, we'll stay on for another minute or two. Angela, any any final comments or thoughts? Feel just wanted to say, feel free to reach out to us. We are really happy to be your thought partner. I know this is a big decision, and obviously the agency you pick with, you'll be working with for a long time. So we're the reason we offer complimentary consultations is we really want to help you make the right decision for you, whether that's us or another agency or another option. So we're always happy to chat. Um, we have our contact info here and specifically for the lending program, again, the email address for that is info at origin-finance.com. You can also email Lauren here to get that information and to get more details. But please use us as a resource and thought partners. We're really happy to help you um, explore whether or not we'd be the right agency to help you build your family. And during this time of economic uncertainty, we do really want to be open about all of the different options that we offer for your financial planning as well. All right, excellent. And, and and I think I would just reiterate, not only free consultations, but even if you just want to have a conversation, if you don't think you're there yet, you're planning, if you're going through IVF and you just want to know a little bit more about what the next step is or when to say, you know, enough is enough, I, I need to go to a surrogate, we are more than happy to have a conversation with you. We don't charge for any of these conversations reach out. We're happy to talk to you about your specific uh, situation. We also have a series of webinars that we do. And what we're trying to do with these webinars right now are very, very tight 15, 20 minute webinars where we try to address just one or two specific topics and then answer any questions you have. So if there are other questions that we didn't get to, please look on our website, look through you know the series. Every Tuesday, we're trying to do a webinar right now for at least a month or two see how these go it's been pretty well attended so far which is good so i hope you guys found this helpful and useful this will be emailed to you uh there doesn't look like there are any more questions so we're gonna sign off right now so thank you guys very much and oh wait one question came on can you have a webinar about the process of surrogacy with gay parents absolutely please reach out to us um and we can you know talk about that i'm sure that we do i'm guessing we already do have uh something on the books for that um, and then the question was about HIV intended parents as well. We do support the we do support the uh, SPAR program through Bedford Labs, which can help couples that have HIV or a person that has HIV. So we support all types of intended parents. Um, if you reach out to us, we can speak individually. I don't know if we have a webinar coming up on the SPAR program, but you know I'd be more than happy to talk through with you um, the SPAR program and any other questions. Thank you guys very much, and we're gonna stop the recording at this point.